Welcome back. I've got another video for you today. And it's just going to set in place because every time I take it out, something falls apart. So what I would like to do is show you this item that I purchased from Bruce Mize on one of his auctions on the January House auction site. Uh, this is a United States Army Air Forces bubble sextant. It's a model A10A bubble sextant. When I got it, it was in pieces. Uh, it was sold as a parts kit. That's what it's listed as mostly uh, online parts kits because that's what it's good for right now. And here's some extra parts that I didn't put back together. I just wanted a good looking static display. Um, I might sell this. I'm not sure yet. i put it with some other items I have until the good show comes up and I can get what I want for it. But uh, it's got the original box. It's got the uh, battery pack right there. It uses uh, three D cell batteries. Uh, they would fit in this area right here. I've got some extra internal parts that should go underneath these plates. One of the prisms, the eyepiece. Uh, the only thing that I could see that it's missing besides some little screws and other things is the uh, bubble level. Uh, that should go on top where the eyepiece hooks into. But other than that, the main components for it are here. Uh, it's got the uh, prism down inside here that I put back. I put the top plates back in, uh, which was a little difficult because I had to disassemble it even more to get them to fit in there and then put it back together. So all that stuff's there. The internals are there and they're unmessed with. So that makes it pretty good. Uh, on the other side is just a white disc. Uh, that'll give you some type of a reading for the stars. Up here is uh, plastic discs. This is an extra mount that is usually missing. And again, it's got the wooden box. I'm going to re-glue some of this, clamp it, get it back together. I'm just going to clean it with a little bit of steel wool, the box, and then uh, oil it. So it doesn't look as ratty, but uh, you have to leave some of the patina on it. So, what this was, well, it still is, partially. It's a nice World War II vintage aircraft, A-10A, bubble sextant. Has the original wooden box with mounting hook, which was right up here. Battery pack. That was for nighttime illumination, uh, when they do uh, celestial navigation. Uh, when you really look at this, if you think about what this possibly could have been in at one time, it's really amazing because of the, you know, due to the high losses in Europe for the daytime bombing raids, uh, to have this in an aircraft ready to go, you know, that it didn't get uh, shot down or scrapped out completely at the end of the war. But these would fit in, um, let's see, B-17 Flying Fortresses. It fit in a B-24 Liberator. Or a B-29 Super Force was all magnificent planes. Um, they also used them in um, transports. You would use it in like maybe a C-46 Commando or a C-47 Dakota or a C-54 Skymaster. Uh, how these would fit is they would suspend these from the plexiglass Superdome, Astrodome, <laughs> Superdome, Astrodome and the ceiling of the aircraft while the uh, navigator sighted uh, the stars he needed to plot a course, and he would track it uh, by what is on the other side of this on the white paper um, that, that goes in that little uh, indentation on the other side. Uh, and that would help him determine courses for night flying. Of course, now we have uh, night vision and all kinds of really cool stuff for the for the pilots nowadays. And You know, I always admired pilots and uh, bomber crews and navigators and radio operators. Uh, very technical spots in to fill within the military plus they had during world war ii very high losses so any man that was trained to use this was uh superman basically <clears throat> they survived you know and this piece survived like i said it was in pieces i put it together right now it looks like a good display piece and i just have to fix the hinges so i don't have to have it propped up because they're both broken but i can buy some on a restoration site or they're so uh, 
easy to reproduce. I could buy some modern hinges and just get my grinder out and grind them down and sand them where they'll look exactly the same as the other. And it's got the carrying handle and the two closure hooks to keep it nice and tight. Once again, yeah, very nice item. And I don't know, I might sell it, I might keep it. It's one of those things that's kind of iffy. I don't have much room left anymore. So uh, if I could find a fellow collector who would take care of it, and yeah, maybe maybe the local air museum might be interested in it. So we'll take it around and see, but if not, it's going to stay with me. I, I originally bought it, intended to keep it, but I just haven't decided yet. But I wanted to get a video out on it. It's really nice. What I'll do is I'll, let me see if the top will close. I just got, oops, that fell. But yeah, see, it closed. I'm closing it up. I just got to store away. I started doing some work on the car before I came in here. So, there we go. And there's the original tag still on top. Very nice. And you can see on the sides of the box how it's come out. And that's just from moisture and humidity. <clears throat> it does a number on these old boxes like this. But that's very easy to fix. It's not broken. So, it'll go together quick. See, those are easy to make. I think they even sell those. Or I'd be able to replace those and it'll have a tighter fit. And it's got the snap in place where it would fit inside of a aircraft. So that's all I got for you today. I'm still working on other videos. It's been uh, a little bit hectic, busy for me, so I haven't been making videos. <clears throat> but I'll get back to it soon. That's upside down. But thanks for joining. Please like and subscribe. You can follow me on uh, Facebook if you go and look for Bear Flag Mercantile. It's a group I have. It's a page I open. Uh, I'm starting to sell items through that page, so you can go look there, uh, like the page, and you can get updates. Uh, opening up a site, I just opened it up for business a couple days ago, so I'm stocking a separate page for items for sale. Um, I'm CaliKid67 on Instagram. You can look on there and see items that uh, I take photos of and put on there, and of course the channel here you're on. Please like and subscribe, share it. And looking forward to some comments. Thanks for watching and have a great evening.